What is going on guys? It is Patrick here and today I am back bringing you guys a new series on more Smith plays and today we are playing like the most highly requested thing on any of my channels ever and this is Until Dawn, a horror game that is all about choices and, and like one choice now will lead to a way different event down the road of so I've been told I haven't played this yet. Uh, I think that's really all there is to say. I, like I said, I, I, I... <laughs> I don't really know what this game's about. I've watched a little tiny bit of it. Um, but yeah, so let's do this. Also, if you want to leave a like, that would be cool too. Uh, the butterfly effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane. Yeah, so that's that's kind of the point of this. Is like one choice may lead to something very crazy down the road. So you have a choice. Okay, and this is kind of representing like the smallest decision could dra dra dramatically change the future. That's really interesting. Um, I've heard that this will, it, it's kind of like, by playing this game, uh, it, it's like every, every single YouTuber that's played this game has a different outcome. There's like thousands of different possible endings, which I find very, very interesting. Uh, but it's kind of like life. So, I don't know. Although I don't love horror games, uh, I'm up for this. I don't know how jump scary this is, which is my big thing. Your decision, your outcome is one of many possibilities, like the butterfly's wings. That's cool. Choose your actions carefully. Okay. Is that it? Okay. Cabin in the woods. Awesome start. Good. <laughs> I can't even joke about this. This looks like... Actually, it looks a little nice. I would go there, honestly. Looks like a nice getaway for the weekend. Cute girl? Yeah, she's cute. Honestly, I mean, a little old and sketchy, but I mean, I'm sure it would be a great weekend here. In all honesty, I'd, I would stay here. Snow? I'm fine with snow. Canadian, right? It doesn't affect me. Oh. Well then, maybe uh, this weekend may have the potential for bad vibes. Okay, what's she doing? What are these immature girls doing? They're all gossipy already. You're not anybody's man. I oh, say so this is like uh, teenagers. This is like my my age people. Okay, I can relate to these people. They're out having some party, uh, but I don't think. I don't know. I don't know. What's this chick saying? Wait, what? Okay, I, I, maybe these people are a little bit younger than me. They seem a little immature. They're under the bed. Mike? What? Mike. It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Obviously it's Hannah. What? Do these people not know each other? He's like, hey. Like, if I was, like, knew someone, I was, like, right up to them, they'd be like, it's Hannah. Like, obviously. Wow! Okay, who is this guy? This is, like, Bioshock, man. Oh, she's creeped out already. This is a very interesting cutscene. And look at that guy, he's passed out. <laughs> oh, I can walk around now. Hey! Wake up! Wake up! I'm gonna strut all over you. Okay, I gotta go find Josh. Are you Josh? Oh, Josh. Hey. Okay. Objects can be inspected. Alright, I think we're gonna go through this door. This looks like the place to go. Yeah, let's go through here. Peace out. Friggin' degenerates. Oh. Oh, a letter. A note. Press R2 to pick up the note. Okay. Hold R2. Oh! Oh! Right stick to inspect objects. Okay. Okay, cool. You look so damn hot in that shirt. But I bet you're even hotter out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m. Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? What? This is so weird. Why would you send a note for a girl? Oh, so I guess they don't need each other. They don't know each other. Whoa. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. This guy's really creepy. I don't think you should say that to a girl. 
Hey, would you like to make out with me? Oh, oh, these people are mean. Why would you? What? How old are you? These people are so... These people are so immature. How old are they? How old are you? Are you like... If you're my age, you are so immature. And they look almost older than, than like... They look like they're like in their like early 20s. Use the right stick to choose. Okay. Wake Josh, find others. Well, uh, uh, you know what? I regret that. He's passed out. He's not going to do anything. Josh. So these are the choices we make? Okay, so I just wasted a tiny bit of time. What the hell? Hannah! Aw, oh, poor Hannah. I feel bad for her already. Serious. Yeah, come on, Beth. Hannah. Friggin' Hannah. Beth. Already gonna die. Should we go after her? You know, I kinda think the last <laughs> person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah, come on, Mike. Press the correct action button before the timer runs out. Square! Oh, she's gonna fall if I don't? Go safe! Don't be stupid. Don't break your friggin' legs. Are you gonna jump off that? Are you serious? What are you... Why, why was that even an option? Okay. Okay. Which way are we going? Follow footprints? Footprints, of course. The noise could be anything. Footprints are obviously someone walking. I don't know if it's the right person. Uh, it's a... Is that a moose or a, that looks like an elk? I don't know. Death. Yeah, why did you go running out here in the middle of the woods, you silly person? What are you? Gosh damn! Everyone is just so dumb already. These people are always already bugging me. Why? I I know it's a horror game, but like, it's cold outside. What are you doing? Okay. Oh, that's cool. It's like an iPhone. Status update. Hannah. Oh, there you go. Get that flashlight out. Okay, I like this. This is some intense iPhone flashlight action right here. This is an interesting game. So this is like the entire game. I thought that that was just like a cutscene, but it's like interac interactive, but like a story. That's cool. I do like that a lot. Hold the L1 to walk faster. Look at that booty. Look at that booty shake. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> Hello. 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 X. What is this? Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there. I don't, I, I don't care. Whatever. Just a... Just a random ass rock or something why, are, why would you if you were upset with people would you really go out into the woods like i just go back to my room and be like well i'm upset that's just my obviously these people have never lived in canada is all i can say i don't know what are we oh fire what the hell was that what does this guy have a flamethrower You were so silly. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bad vibes. Bad vibes. Beth? Run! Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, she dropped her phone! Oh my god. Oh my god. This is bad. This is very... Wow. Cliff? Cliff? Cliff?
Just drop. It's not that far. It's better than the guy with the flamethrower. Why would... Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. That guy is... Let go. Let go. Oh. Oh, that... Oh. I think I made a poor decision. Oh. Oh, no. That did not look like that far of a drop. Are they both dead? <laughs> oh, man. I really screwed the pooch on that one. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you... Who is this guy? You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to... This guy reminds me of someone from a movie. It's the guy who's always... Yeah. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I like that. That's positive. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Well, I obviously made a bad decision. I want to help you see it through. All right, let's do her, bud. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be as scary, even terrifying. Terrifying. I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Good, good. I've been told that it's not really like a difficult game. Like you're always gonna beat it. It's just like how many people will be left alive at the end of it that that determines it. All right. You answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I like this guy. Yeah, let's do it. Oh. Okay. Scarecrow and a barn. Okay. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember the honor. Be honest. I feel uneasy. Definitely uneasy. The, the, it's the scarecrow itself that makes me feel uneasy. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? <laughs> this, guy, this guy is odd. The scarecrow. Yeah, they know. So I'm, I'm like everyone else. I'm just probably normal. No, no, not at all. The, the scarecrow has nothing to do with staying there. Why not? I'd be lonely. Yeah, I don't want to be in a barn by myself. It's a fine line between the peacefulness of solitude and the long. Yes, it's true. Solitude is enjoying your time alone. Loneliness is not. Hmm? I like it. Because I'm afraid we're out of time. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's too bad, Doctor Hill. that make you feel safe. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best, but I have a feeling the fact that I said I don't, I like that, they're gonna take that away from me. So, awesome. Okay, let's do it up. Is this a horror? I feel like this is more like saw horror, like gory, which I like. I like that. I don't like Five Nights at Freddy's type of terror. So, for me, it's like hoping that it's it's like, like I, I like I those two girls just died. I assume I don't really care. That doesn't bother me. But Five Nights at Freddy's like jump scares is what I hate. So I'm okay with a few, but like when it's like every 30 seconds, it's a little bit much for me. Um, I feel like this is gonna be a sick game though. Like I I really am excited to play this. It's been a while since I've been excited to play a game. So let's freaking do this. It's gonna be awesome. I'm like, I'm pumped. This looks amazing. Wow, big names. Big names. Peter Stormare. 
Okay. Vibing. Just vibing out right now. This is... Wow. Okay, that's a little creepy. Just a baby, though. It's just a... Oh, it's not even a real baby. I like this. I like this a lot. My audio's delayed when I hear it, so I'm probably, like, jamming. I'm probably way off beat, but it's okay. <laughs> oh my god, I haven't been this excited to play a video game in a very long time. This is... this is good. Whoa, I was just at Mount Washington last week. I was in New Hampshire. That's crazy. Uh, I feel like they might have died either way. My bad. I feel like they just had to die, so I don't feel too bad. I mean, it sucks that they died, but... I just, I don't get why... I don't know. She's cute. She looks cute. And this is the chick going there. Yeah, you gotta do a retake, bro. Right. You gotta warm up. You gotta warm up your vocal cords. Get it going. Friends and fans, what's up? To have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my fans. So chicks die there, and you're gonna be back again. Winter getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know. Uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room. Elephant in the room, yeah. Rather large one. I know. You're all probably worried about me, and I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... Bitches be crazy. I just want you all to know, um, it means... It means so much to me that we're doing this, and that... I guess no one knows that it's a crazy psychopathic murderer with a flamethrower and so knife, so... They die. Uh, okay, I see. I see the reason they come back. I really want to spend some quality time with. The but I think I wouldn't come back to this place. You know, if they died, I'd be like, uh, maybe we should go inside. Or I don't know. For the sake of my sisters, and you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So let's party like we're fucking porn stars. Okay, make this one trip. We oh, you party like rock stars. I don't know. Let's be porn stars, I guess. The shirt is coming off! No. <laughs> oh, wait, it was resume. Oh, my bad. I hit something. Okay. Got too excited. Larry Fessenden. Is that the guy who, I, who was the, the Doc Hill guy? I like this. I like this. I really like I'm am into this. I'm invested already. I hope I I hope I can stick this through this game to the end. I hope it's not too scary. Man, this game is starting off amazingly. Wow. Blackwood Pines. Oh death. Okay. <laughs> okay, Blackwood Pines. Let's do it. We out here. Turn up. Let's freaking go. Turning like we're porn stars. One. Memento Mori. Oh, ten hour. Oh, I get it until dawn. Hey, what's up, bro? I see you have a machete there. Are you here to chop firewood? How convenient, he also has a flamethrower to start the fire. That's awesome. Sam. Consider it adventurous. Okay. Hello? Hello. Someone there? Twelve oh two. Alright, let's do her. She seems cool. I mean, she's got a very interesting attire. A skirt in, a, in the winter? I, I don't know. It's thick to move the camera. 
Oh, okay, so kind of can kind of change it. It doesn't really I feel like that doesn't really matter a lot, but all right, probably in the future. Okay, let's gates busted. Climb over. Oh, perfect. R2. No, it's not gonna work. Yeah, just just get over it. You're not gonna do her up. No. You wanna climb up. Yeah, let's climb the wall. Not that. I would I I wouldn't be able to climb that, but I could probably climb this. Safe. Safe. Don't be silly. There you go. There you go. Nice job. There you go, Sam. Climb. Okay, I'm learning how this game works. There you go. You got her. You got her. You can do this. Don't kill yourself. What if she already died? She fell off <laughs> and died on like a five inch wall or five foot wall. I feel like that's how this game is going to work. All right, don't jump. This is a dog. Uh, she did jump. See, she landed fine. She's great. She's a great climber. Climbing experience just increased like tenfold. Well done. All right. It's going through this. This place. And don't move icons on the screen. God. Oh god, this is intense. I don't want to move. Okay. Cool. So that's gonna be like, oh, you're hiding in some super scary place. Cool. R1. Oh. Okay, cool. Gotcha. This is just like this is really is a weird place. Like the card yeah, I I, I don't think I'd be coming back here after my friends I like realistically, like I'd be like, alright, why don't we go somewhere else? Death, black butterflies, fortune, okay. Guidance, yellow, loss, danger, death. So brown, red, and black. Black, brown, red, black. Yellow. Oh, that girl had one that was a different color. She probably died. Oh. Oh, okay, so R2. It's yellow. Oh. Okay. Guidance totem. Okay. Well. I see yellow. I'm going to just assume that's good. The future is uncertain whether or not the, the profit. Yeah, yeah. This is very cool. Okay. The past is beyond our control. Sure is. YOLO. Where are we to? Is this... Do we have to take a gondola? Chris, you here? Wow. That's a little ridiculous. Backpack? Really? Where you at, boy? Oh, no. Don't answer it. Classic horror. Snoop. Oh, I don't like it. those butterflies. It's not that bad. It's not a bad thing. It's just like, look, your phone's going off. I, I'm sorry. Are, are you my secretary? I was buzzing. Cool. Well, exactly. Thanks for letting me know. I Take it from here. It was sitting outside, like halfway outside. You know. Oh, so. So. I found something kind of amazing. What? All right. I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on. It's this way. Where? All right. Right around here. It's going to blow your Is mind. Is a maniac with a flamethrower by any chance? Because that seems probable at this point. Okay. Well, 
Not to be uh, talking too soon, but I haven't been scared yet. What is it? What is it? I can't see. What the hell is a shooting oh, it's a shooting range. <clears throat> <clears throat> you should really take that gun. You should really take that gun. Here goes. Oh, so we do get to shoot, perhaps. Perhaps? Uh. Oh, this one. Okay, my bad. Wait, what? That's a very weird shooting system. Like, you want me to be right on that little thing. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna impress this girl so much. Oh, yeah. Word up. Wrecked. I'm on the ball. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think so, girl. <clears throat> uh, you want to see some more? See, this sketchy guy is gonna be like, "Wow." He's gonna be like, "Wow, this guy is crazy." Uh, I don't want to mess with him because he's a good shot. Oh, squirrel! I don't want to shoot the squirrel. I'm gonna shoot this. I don't want to shoot the squirrel. I'm not a bad guy. <laughs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, Butterflies! Come on, Chris, the cable car. She's impressed. She thinks I am a good shot. She's going to be relying on me at some point. I'm going to need... I don't know. I'm just trying to make guesses, but I don't know. Either the creepy guy saw me shooting, and he's going to be like, wow, you know. Who found? Want a poster. Mil Victor Milgram, last known address, Blackwood Pines. Hope not. By 1998, how do they already have smartphones? Unless it was a long time ago. Oh, it's probably a long time ago. That makes sense, yeah. Okay. What clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and increase your chance of survival? Press R1 to examine. Alright, whatevers. I don't really care about surviving, honestly. I just, I'm just here to have a good time. You know, I'm, I mean, if, as long as one person survives, I'll be happy. Uh, so that's, you know. Door's locked. Door's locked, okay. Josh wanted us to keep it locked, keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. Creepy. How am I gonna get in? Let me in. Let me in. After you. Oh, After you. Well, snowboard action. Wow, this really isn't a state. Like, if you have a cable cart to go to your place, you're you're balling out pretty hard, I would say. All right, can we just can we just get this get this in gear? What a crazy place! Oh, it was a hotel. No matter how rich you are, I'm not so rich. Can't leave Potter Mountain. <laughs> just a mountain. Barely impressed. All right, can we get this going? I thought the car, the car was, was close. Oh, that's a little creepy. <laughs> it's a big mountain. Yeah. Is there anything else here? A locker, maybe? A sleeping giant. You're pretty tall. The sleeping giant of black. Is there a ah, I don't like this. It's like Five Nights at Freddy's all over again. <laughs> huh? Are we there? Are we good? Are we Gucci? Or are we all gonna die? Let's do her up. I was gonna stay here and catch some disease, but okay. 
ok enter the car I cannot oh X would probably be the best way to enter the car this guy is very flirty here we go it's gonna crash and they're gonna die <laughs> no I'm just trying to predict every bad thing that's gonna happen <laughs> I wonder how many characters are in this. I'm curious about that. Good. Good. Why would you be like I just wanna come back here? No. They never found the bodies of these two girls either. Everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. I like this girl, she seems cool. Stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. you know what you're right. You know how Josh and I met? Third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room. I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so. So I got moved to the back. And. And next to Josh. That's how we met. I mean, and came. Butterfly effects. Match made in heaven. Oh my God. Riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or we're talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Boom. Alright, well, we're about half an hour in, guys, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up there. This is a very, very interesting game so far. So uh, let me know what you think so far. Like I said, I, I think this is supposed to get a lot more intense as we go in, but I'm enjoying this a lot. Like I haven't had this much fun in a game in a long time, so Thank you for watching. That was part one. I will see you in episode two.